Good morning, everyone. Welcome to RadioSilentPlay.com. I am your moderator for today on Tuesday, June 16th, 2015. Let me start off by saying I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence before trading any stock or options. Trading stocks and options requires lots of risk. I'm going to go over um, June 15, 2015 uh, trading. Um, I'm going to start off with the OTC market. Uh, first off, ticker symbol SUGO, American Mineral Group. This was a stock that we actually uh, sent out back in uh, April, Mayish uh, time. We noticed that the stock was here consolidating at the bottom. Okay, when we noticed the stock first, the stock traded from 28, hit a high of 0 0.03. Then we saw a little bit of a consolidation, then a big collapse. What I noticed here was a rounded bottom and a potential um, cup and handle. And that's exactly pretty much what it did. Um, we entered the stock. We gave a buy zone from uh, from 10 to, to, to 13 probability uh, in the beginning. The share structure was pretty low, so there wasn't that many shares. We upgraded it. We uh, moved um, the buy zones from 15 to 17. That gave an opportunity to actually buy in this range last week. And then the stock actually started just trading up a little higher on significant va volume. If you see the volume here, this is big volume compared to, to the past few other days. Okay, yesterday they announced uh, news on a completion of acquisition or disposition of assets and um, this stock rallied and hit a high of uh, 0 0.00995. The stock then pulled back, saw a low of uh, like about 0 0.004 range, okay, 4.3 range, and then uh, rallied and then closed at 0 0.006 right here at Pivot. What we want to see this stock do is continue um, moving up higher. Okay, we want to make sure that we confirm close above this pivot level. Okay, what I'm thinking is now, okay, I'm looking at a 50 to 61% retrace. Okay, so what is that level? Um, I'm looking at that, okay, I'm looking at that 0 0.00. Let me just bring this fib retrace level here from these bottoms. Okay, so what you, what you want to see here is maybe... A potential gap fill here okay a gap fill here at a higher 0 0.0035 so what I would do is I would place my bids anywhere from 0 0.0035 to 0 0.0045 for buy zone my stop close would be a close below 0 0.0027 and why why am I picking that 27 level because that's that 20 day moving average you want to see this thing potentially kind of like start uh, consolidating or maybe like a bullish inside flag pattern and maybe see a pullback to that to that kiss of that that gap fill. Yesterday we fill we actually had a low of 0 0.004. Okay, we opened that at, I think 0 0.004345, and the stock ended up rallying off the news. Now what you want to see is potential gap fill. So if you want to place your your gap fill somewhere around 0 0.0035 to 0 0.0045, with a stop close below 0 0.0035 on two consecutive closes, you can do that, or you can. You know, look to accumulate from 0.0027 to about 0 0.004. For this is a low share structure stock. The stock uh, trades with just 47 million um, outstanding shares. It just has about 200 million um, authorized shares. So there's not many shares out here. So this this does kind of trade with a little bit of a gap, and it's it's extremely thin on the ask. But overall, I do feel that this stock has the potential to to kind of break this 0 0.01 level. And potentially move to that 0 0.025, 0 0.03 uh, range. Okay, this was just a good, good trade from the bottom. Again, I always tell traders to kind of anticipate um, the move. You know, um, sometimes traders don't like adding shares at these lows, but you know, you can notice that these things eventually pay off, especially when you're trading a low share structure stock. And we saw the indicators here. We had a golden cross here on that um, 20 to 50 day moving average. You had that cup and handle move. You also had a low share structure of stock. So this was just a good trade uh, for traders that took the trade. Uh, next stock is uh, ticker symbol UAMM, UA Multimedia. This was given out from 10 to 13. Kind of pulled back, showed a uh, low of 0008. Never saw that again. So what I noticed was that 10 to 13 buy zone. Okay, we saw a little bit of a bullish inside flag, which I mentioned over the Sunday night uh, webinar. And we saw a high and closed at the high of 24. Now what we want to see is some continuation. Close above that 17 level again. 
and potentially test this 0.0035 to 0.005 level. Just a great trade on the UAMM. Okay, any updates, any updated news, you could see a continuation here. Now what you want to see is maybe some consolidation here for a push, push higher. Okay, the next stock is uh, ticker symbol GEQU. If you notice this, this is a considerable downtrend. Okay, we've traded this stock before. Um, but now if you notice here, we're, we're kissing this level. Every time you kiss this level, you see a nice little bounce. So watch this level get kissed and a potential move up to that 0 0.002 level. Okay. If you notice here, every time it kisses this level, you get a bounce. Kiss the level, bounce, kiss the level, bounce, kiss the level, bounce, kiss the level, and you bounce. And we're seeing that now here. If you close below 0009 on two consecutive closes, you can stop out of the stock. Next stock is uh, ticker symbol ONCI, on four communications. This was a stock that was given back in May. I talked about the buy zones. We had a nice move here, and then we saw that breakdown. I said, wait for that buy zone here this box pattern here and we actually tested that and we saw a low of triple zero seven yesterday we closed at 10 so just a nice move now watch for that confirmation close above 12 if you do close above 12 I don't you know I don't I don't think um, you know we won't test this 15 16 17 level but just a great move here for those traders that that bought this triple zero seven here triple zero eight okay I talked about the triple zero eight to ten probability levels with a stop close below A two times. We never close below A two times. So just a good move here for the, as, uh, the ONCI. Next ticker symbol is ANSI. Okay, this gave an opportunity to enter as low as 0009. Saw a low of 0007, but just kissed that level. Then we saw um, yesterday news hit a high of 17. So just a nice move off that um, 910 level, 60, 70%. You know, we'll take that any day. Next stock is ticker symbol SNXG. This is a stock that has been consolidating, hasn't stopped out. It's trading well above that 21, 22 level it's holding. Okay, um, watch that 16 support. Overall, the stock is still oversold. Any updates here, we could see a move just like that uh, Suvo. Okay, similar play to Suvo. You're seeing that round the bottom. Watch that uh, that that um, continuation here. Okay, you're holding that, that support. We're trading above that box pattern. So I do feel this stock has potential to move higher. Next stock is Brav, B-R-A-V. This is a stock that we've traded in the past. Okay, we uh, bought the stock from 12, 13 range. We saw a high of 19. Since then, it's breaking, broken down. Now here at probability levels now. Triple zero nine shows good support. I do feel that 9, 10 level, 11 level will be a nice opportunity. I, I wouldn't be surprised for this to break 13, potentially hit 16, 17. If you get any news, this stock can go higher to maybe 24, 30. It is a low share structure stock. It has been beaten down and it's kind of consolidating here at bottom. Okay, the next stock is uh, ticker symbol KATX. I talked about that 00911 buy zone. Yesterday we tagged that 10 level. Okay, um, closed at 14. So there are buyers here. Okay, um, the stock is holding a bottom box consolidation pattern. And like, like the stock COTE, like um, other stocks like HKUP, um, MDCN, usually these stocks kind of, you know, hit these mental sports and they usually bounce. If you notice here, these Bollinger Bands are getting tied in between these Keltner channels. So there's a lot of consolidation here. I do like to trade here, moving on forward. Okay, next stock is ticker symbol COTE. Okay, we talked about this bullish inside flag pattern. Okay, it is holding. If you notice, now you're seeing higher lows. Okay, we talked about that 25 to 35 level. Uh, for uh, entry, we had a low of 36. So if you want to upgrade your, your entry, look for that 36 to 40 range. And if the stock breaks below that 0 0.0035 on two consecutive closes, you can kind of stop out. Then look at that 0 0.0025 level for re-entry, 25 to 35. Okay, that's pretty much it for the OTCs. If we're looking at the, the, the SPY for you option traders. Okay, yesterday... Um, we had uh, a little bit of a move here. Um, it bounced up to 209.11. I was looking for that 207.70 to 206.80 level. We actually tested that low 207.79 off that um, that scalp. So that was a good move. But then after that, after it hit that 207.80, you had a significant bounce. So it is holding. And I told um, our traders, I gave them two key, um, actually a key level. And we're looking for that key level to either test or break below that level. If you want to know what that level is, just join Radio Silent Play. 
dot com and you'll get that level overall you're still holding this um, uptrend but at the same time it is uh, testing this level so there is some weakness if you notice here okay you're seeing uh, lower highs here now this is becoming resistance here that 20 21 and 8 day moving average 209.80 and 211.35 that's becoming resistance here so just something to kind of bear in mind um, the next stock is ticker symbol QQQ this is the ETF um, NASDAQ 100 if you notice here we've closed below this level we're looking for a second day confirmation close below that 108.90 if you do um, we could see a breakdown here and um, that'll be put some pressure on Apple as well or um, the NASDAQ stock so we'll look at that I forget that they changed um, Apple into they made it a Dow Jones stock so um, what we're uh, looking for now is um, is just for a close confirmation below that 10890 if it does that 10890 and that 109.70 becomes um, big resistance so just keep an eye all right oh, other than that, there's not nothing more that I, you know, I, I got for you guys. Um, just keep keep in mind that there is a lower volume in the summertime. Okay, um, just uh, you know, make sure that you're disciplined and you're patient with your setups. Okay, for option traders, make sure you wait for kiss level, kissing levels, as explained. Also, um, for you guys that trade the OTCs, you know, don't you know force a trade. Let that trade come to you. All right. So um, with that said. Everybody have a profitable week. Take care, everyone.